Hey guys, it's Nick from Retro Games HQ, and today I'm coming back with at you with a Coromon demo episode. I think this is number four. So, if you, well, not if, just go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You'll get more content like this, and I've got retro game, uh, retro game gameplay, I've got retro game guides, and I'm going to have monster taming gameplay as well. So make sure you stay around for all this Monster Taming John is pretty exciting. Let's get into it. First off, I'm in a new area, so I can use a Luxlore. Of course, that's not my Luxlore, but I can use my Luxlore. Let's see what Pokemon, oh, sorry, what Coromon I can possibly get. Hmm. Mofel. Remember, I'm on insane mode. All right. So I am faster. Five. Seven. Cut him one more time. Crit. Okay. Squad. Patterbit. One. Yep. Let's get Silk Quill out of here. Put in Patterbit. Scratch. Okay, only five. Let's hit for this. Scratch again so he's faster than me. Crit might kill me. But I'm willing to risk it. No! What the heck? That shouldn't have... Should be left at like two or three HP. Yay. Hmm. For now, next one I might not do that. Oh my god. Dang it. Anyways, I'm gonna go back and heal. Yes. That gum, man. That sucks. Let's see what we got back here. Phoenix stone. Oh, is a it's a Phoenix Stone or Revive. Yeah, I'll be able to sell this. Since I can't revive anybody. Can't do much with it. Why are they all sinking? Alright, let's go in here. This is a good looking pumpkin. Fig Fruit. Gal fruit. What? Removes poison immediately when getting poison. Wakes up immediately. Oh. Ooh, okay. I like that. Oh, stream. One second, guys. There we go. I've been on a trainer hub is great. I can see all kinds of Coromon. Sweet. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my god, I get to interact with them. Swarmy. That's why they're like, slinking. Slitherpin. Oh, a different color swarmy. These Chroma look so happy. Walking around freely and I would never dare put them in smears. I mean, how would they even fit? Let's see if I can get in the secret entrance. No. Come on, Jesse. But no, I cannot. Is this an entrance? Yes, it is. Awesome. Our village didn't have a trainer hub for a long time. That's why we've set one up, so that we can help passing trainers in our Coromon. Well, thank you. I just took a cake from somebody. The current time is... Incorrect. So, my internal clock's off. That's fun. Alright. I think I already talked to this dude. No, I didn't. 
There was a time when we didn't have any technology in town. The times, they were changing. Yeah, they were changing. Yeah, it's just taking in our taking fruit. Okay. Oh, that's cool. You just kind of leaving around crap. Spinner. Okay, push. This is definitely the blacksmith. So I'm on the right track. Okay. So let's find out where he's supposed to be. I don't think I can go here. Oh, I can. Is there anything? Nope. Okay. That's fine. Let's me let me go in. Oh. Taking crap from people's houses. It's gonna be a repel, I'm guessing. I've been seeing them plowing so long that even my wife thinks my mind is gone. But I'm a man of the land with quite some discipline, and befitting this job I grow a beard on my chin. And if all chores are done and all is well and fine, Harvest Fest is here and we'll enjoy the party time. Oh please stop, no. We spend most of our lives living on in this small paradise. And we like it so much that we'll live out the rest of our lives here. Mm -hmm. I want to take your cake. Bye. Oh, nope. Never mind. Hold on, guys. There's a room of yours I haven't invaded. Huh? What? Coupon? Get 25% of your purchase back. Is that a one-time coupon? I mean, I'll save that crap until I have a gigantic coupon, and I'll just save crap down money through it. Sure. Let's see. A beasel? Where? Parent is trapped. Curse those beasel. Hey, buddy. You can't do that. Beasel. Beasel. Beasel, beasel. Uno momento, por favor. Of course it's un momento. But, ah, well. I want to check one thing, guys. So just give me a singular second. Okay, well that tells me all I need to know. <sighs> Squad. Truga. So, at worst, it's a insect type or whatever, plant type, bug type, grass type, whatever type they got that's, uh, oh my god, if it's air. Hey. What the heck? Doesn't matter. Bye-bye. Shoo-shoo. Shut up. Stop it. Stop stinging me. Dang it. Slam. Oh my god, I don't like that. Ember, ember. I mean, burn, 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 burn. Mm -hmm. Um. Patter bit. I'm a little bit stickier of a situation than I would have thought. I wouldn't have been as sticky if I would have had the measle, weasel, whatever. Please don't take it out for me. On me. Oh, great. Dang it. Oh my god. Everyone's getting poisoned. You get poison. You get poison. Okay. Holy crap. 
for the love of everything good, let me outspeed this man. Oh. I, I just wanted to check out the thing that... Oh, I thought it was me. Doesn't matter. Fast track. Bam. Bada boom. Whew. Oh, it didn't level up though. Cool. Patterbit still ain't leveled up. Oh my god. One second for the stream. Okay, dudes. Ooh, thanks for that. I thought I was a goner. I was just working on this here fence, and then suddenly that bezel snuck up on me. Anyway, thanks for your helping me out. I'm glad I could help. Since uh, you were working on that fence, are you by any chance the blacksmith parent? The one and only. There's no better blacksmith around. Who's asking? My name's Retro Games HQ. I was sent by Regal and to find you. Ah, to have an essence collector installed, I presume. All right, let's get right to it then. Come, let's go to my workshop. I mean workshop. Oh, now it sounds more like Irish. Here we are. Welcome to me, workshop. Retro Games HQ. Wow, from the looks of this workshop, you must be quite busy. Aye, I sure am. I've been making spinners almost... Uh, uh, almost day and night for the last few weeks. I'm one of the few people working for Lux Solus that are skilled enough to make spinners. So I, I've been working hard, but I can help you with your gauntlet. I'm quite familiar with Lux Solus technology, technology, so it shouldn't take too long, take long to install a module. Thanks. Here's my gauntlet. Here's a module. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Thank you. And here. Meanwhile, you can use a spare gauntlet. Thanks. Right. I'll get it for you. Oh, wait. Oh, oi. Uh, while I work on your gauntlet, why don't you visit the library? You can pick up some handy handbooks there, uh, which will surely help you on your venture. You can ask me, little brother. He's a little, real bookworm, that feller. So, he'll know where to find them books. Come back once you've read them all. I'm sure I'll be done by then. Sounds helpful. I'll go check out the library. Hi. My... Better get started then. Oh, I'm glad that installing a chip is bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, making quite a bit of progress, but honestly, I don't want any surprise battle and then get wiped. Yes, thank you. Yep. Sure left. Oh. Stinky scent. I'm studying hard so I can join Lux Solus and become a strong trainer, but the books Marin gave me were too complex for me. I'm looking for a specific hand oh, specific beginner's handbook now. I heard Cormon Basics is somewhere in this library as well, but I can't find it. Okay. Um do you want to see my items? So, repels Koromon weaker than your squad for members, uh, squad member, for leading squad member for three minutes. You can attract Koromon, which are already hurt, for three minutes. Oh, wow. That's neat. History of time. What does that even mean? I'm just going through making sure I, you know, read them all. Detectives? I think the butler did it. There are so many interesting books here. I can't decide which book I want to read next. Cool, buddy. The history section is my favorite. You can find some books which are even older than Blue or the Self History section. No one for mistakes. Children books. I'm a little too old for these. Can't read all these. 
current time. A lot of books. Mm, hello there. Oh, um, did you want something? Yes, Perrin told me I could find books for beginning trainers. Do you know where I can find them? Ah, my brother Perrin then. <laughs> he doesn't understand the power of knowledge. He mocks me for reading all these books, says I should contribute to the town. He said he's working on his anvil all day. Now what does that do? In reality, the pen is mightier than a sword, right? I guess so. Oh, fellow book lover. It seems I misjudged you. Here, let me help you get some books. For beginning trainer, you said. I know just the ones. Hmm, yes, this one. Gorman Basics? No, this book is too basic. But it could come in handy for someone else, perhaps. Ah. One more over here. Last one. If you read all these, you'll know everything at the beginning of Trisha Note. Perhaps you'll even get to pass Jebediah's quiz. He likes to think he's the smartest, so he challenges others to battle wits. Hmm. He often hangs around in the reading room. Um, well, here you go. There's a lot of reading material. Stay well and you'll become a trainer that's not to be trifled with. I'll keep an eye out for other books that might be useful for you. Um, and then I'll send you a message to let you know. Okay, um, bye now. Alright then. Over here, up. Studying so hard to start. Da -da -da. Can I not give it to her? But I had Cormon basics. No, oh, okay. God. Top manual. Normal ledger. Yep. All right, look through these. All right, look through it. So. See, I need to know more about you. Many years ago, when I first traveled to Valua, I was astounded by the many climates the region has to offer. I got curious, and I wanted to see if I could discover new Coromont in these areas. I decided to set out on an expedition, and will describe my findings in this journal. On my expedition throughout the different areas of Valua, I discovered that specific types of uh, are attracted to specific areas. For example, most of the sand Coromont I saw were living in the desert. In total, I have been able to dis distinguish seven different types amongst a total of 118 unique species during my expedition. I have also found that specific skills have types which are not always the same as the types of Cormon. I have discovered six of them, and we'll call these types skill types. Like all types, skill types differ in their effectiveness and depending on the type of Cormon they are used on. How these seven Cormon types and six skill types interact with each other is quite complex, but I did discover how each type interacts with the other, something each trainer should be aware of. So I've summarized these discoveries in the manual, the type manual. I will make sure every new trainer will obtain one of these handbooks during their training. Are you thinking of becoming a trainer? Then keep on reading, because you've already read, because uh, after you read this book, you'll be one step closer to becoming a professional Cormon trainer and everything a trainer should know. But when are you a trainer? Consensus is that a trainer is someone who's passionate about and performs the acts of taming and training Cormon. Trainers uh, often travel around looking for new Cormon or challenges. Each trainer has its own goals. Some of them want to gain understanding about Cormon. Others aim for fame by training the strongest Cormon squad. Trainers train their Cormon by having them battle against other Cormon. With enough XP, most Cormon will, can even, uh, will even evolve into a different form, growing even stronger. Battling can be done against wild Cormon, but the trainer can also challenge another trainer to a Cormon battle. Some wild Cormon live in hordes. 
Winning against a horde will get you extra bonus XP. That terrifies me. Oh my god. That's how you get wiped. Each trainer adheres to a set of rules. 1. A trainer can uh, may carry up to 6 Cormon at a time. 2. A trainer should always accept the challenge from another trainer. 3. Trainers may not catch Cormon owned by another trainer. And that's his every aspiring follow your dreams. Okay. Welcome, dear reader, to my description of Coromon. If you would like more knowledge of Coromon and how they perform, search no more. Our analysis will explain all statistics of a Coromon. The most important HP, SP, uh, five stats physical. Yep. Okay. Okay, so it's just if you've played monster timing games, you know that. Especially Pokemon. We people all have our own potential, but did you know that same goes for Coromon? When participating in battles, Coromon grow potent, more potent. After gaming, uh, gaining through experience, the Coromon will awaken some of its potential, gaining additional stat points. However, every not every Coromon learns as fast as others. So some have more or less potential, which they can awaken. This is known as potential. A Coromon's potential can be divided into three categories: standard, potent, and perfect. There are tools like Potential Reader, which can be used to discover the exact potential value, which can range from 1 to 21. Potential categories also show visually. So if you encounter a Cormon with deviating appearance, this is due to their deviating potential. Some trainers out there in the world dream of owning every species of Cormon with a perfect potential. Because the more potential a Cormon has, the more powerful it can grow. Will you try for the perfect squad as well? Okay, that's all. Alright, so I know I just pretty much speed ran that, but that's all for this video. I'll be making more Coromon demos. I'm just, I know that this was like, hey, go, th there wasn't really any battles. I, I think I did Beezle at the beginning. No, I, did I? Maybe in the last episode. Either way, subscribe. I'll have more content like this out. I'm also doing like Nexomon, um, Patch Quest. I'm going to be doing uh, Tam Tam. Uh, stuff like that, and a Pokemon Red randomized playthrough, so I'm doing a lot of stuff right now. Anyways, that's it for this video. Subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Retro on!